is just the interest that we paid on this car. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and do a simple price of the car is just going to be $5,000. Let's say we have a down payment of $1,000. And so now let's set up a formula here for the amount to be financed so we can subtract $1,000 from $5,000. So you come up here to the formula bar, you're going to hit equals, and then we're going to select D2, and we're going to minus D2 from D3. Then we're going to hit enter, and that gives us a total of $4,000. Now let's set these cells up as currency. Right now you can see they're formatted as just a number. The easiest way to do this is by selecting all the cells that you want to format as currency. The way you do that is by clicking on the control button, holding it down, and then selecting all the cells just like that. And then you hit Control Shift at the same time. While you hold down those two, you're going to also click on four. And when you see I did that, you see how these cell reference have turned now to currency. Now let's continue on. The years, let's put in here three year loan. And the interest rate, let's figure, uh, let's just do six. So now you can see here I need a format. We need to format this cell as a percentage. So you right click on the cell, come down here where it says format cells. We have general number currency. Come down here where it says percent percentage. Then you click on highlight it, click on OK. Now when we click on 6, it's now formatted as a percent sign. Okay, now we want to come down here to cell E10. And here is where we're going to put our formula PM2, I mean PMT. And the way we do that is we're going to come up here to FX. Because what we want is we want Microsoft Office to actually show us the steps to show us how this actually is going to calculate it. Once you know the steps and you know the formula, you could actually just go right up here in the formula bar and just write it in there. But we're going to show you the long way so you can actually get an idea of how this formula works. So you're going to go up here, it says search for function. So here, just type a brief description. And what we're going to type in is P M T hit enter and that's going to pull up the function PMT double click it now now we have to go in and fill out these three references here so it's asking for the first one is rate it wants to know where is your cell reference located for the interest rate ours is D6 so we're going to click on D6 now we need to divide that by 12. So we hit divide by 12. Second, we need to fill out number per. And what it's asking for is, where is your cell reference for your number here, which is D5, how many years is the loan for? So we click on that. And we need to, here we need to multiply so we hit the multiply symbol, which is an asterisk, and we need to multiply that by 12 as well. You get 36 months. All right, so now let's fill out this last one. PV, which stands for present value. So it, it's wanting to know where is your cell that you have your amount to be financed. Ours is in D4, so we click on that. Now, you can come down here at the bottom and it says formula result. It's already telling us the formula. It's $121.69, but there's brackets around it. We don't want those brackets to show up. So to, to make sure that the brackets don't show up, because that is saying that's a negative, 
we're going to come back up here and we're going to put a minus sign. When you do that, you see the brackets go away. All right, so that's all you fill out there. You hit OK. Now you see the monthly payment is calculated here. Now watch this. Let's say you, you found the car that you want to purchase and it's $20,000. Let's say you have a down payment of 5000 and you see, every time I change these values here, this amount goes up or down. So let's say that, let's say the bank will give us a five-year loan. So put five years there. You see the month, monthly payment goes down. Let's say you have horrible credit. Your credit rating is very, very bad. Let's put in there 15%. Well, that makes the monthly payment, of course, to go up. So... But it's a really, really great tool, especially if you're in the market for getting a loan, that you can actually see your payment of the monthly loan. And uh, But let's not forget these two cell references here. So the total payment, we want to know how much after we pay this car off with the interest rate will the total amount be. To get that number, we need to put a formula in there. So we go up here to the formula bar, we hit equals, and we're going to click on cell reference D5. So you go D5, which is the total amount of years. We have five in here. Then what we're going to want to do is multiply by E10, multi, the monthly payment. So we're going to multiply by hitting the asterisk, because that's a symbol for multiply. Click on the E10 monthly payment and hit enter. Oh, sorry about that. Messed up. After we hit D5, we're going to multiply by E10. Then we're going to multiply by 12 months. Forgot about the 12 months. Sorry about that. Now we hit enter. That gives us a total payment of $21,410.94. Let's find out what the interest is on this car loan. 